uh, what is crystal growth and what are the reasons for crystal growth so crystal growth is the change in the particle size distribution in the suspension doges form as we know that the particle size affect the important properties such as solubility absorption and sedimentation parameters of the suspension so during the storage there is a significant changes in the particle size distribution occurs and this incidence is called as the crystal growth so here what happens suppose initially we have prepared a suspension of about uh, narrow particle size distribution such as 1 to 30 micron there is initial particle size distribution but after storage condition it may change about the 0.5 to about the 100 micron that is the vast differences into the particle size distribution happens during storage so this incidence is called as the crystal growth now what are the reasons for the crystal growth reasons for crystal growth the first one is the oswald ripening so what is oswald ripening it is the growth of the bigger particle at the expense of the smaller particle is called as the oswald ripening as you all know that as the particle size decreases the rate of the solubility increases so in suspension what happens some of the smaller particles that dissolves and goes into the aqueous medium and after that this particle from the solution they are precipitated on the surface of the bigger particle so that the these particles again becomes bigger and bigger so this incidence is called as the oswald ripening and this may lead to significant particle size distribution problem in a suspension the second reason is the presence of the polymorphic impurities in the suspension suppose we have prepared a suspension of a particular form 1 of a api which also contains the impurities of the another form which is unstable or metastable form here suppose the form 1 is a stable crystalline form of the drug substances which contains the impurities of the form 2 which is metastable or unstable as we know that the metastable form has a higher solubility so that it will go into the solution and precipitated on the surface of the stable crystalline drug substances and again the this uh, changes in the particle size distribution is observed third mechanism is presence of the amorphous form of the drug as a impurity suppose if a drug substance contain amorphous form of the drug as a impurity 
then again the same problem as we have discussed earlier happens because amorphous foam made of a drug has a higher solubility as compared to the stable crystalline foam and so it goes into the solution and precipitated on the surface of the stable crystalline form of the drug and changes in the psd is observed the next problem is changes in the polymorphic form of the drug suppose we have prepared a suspension of the api having form 1 which is during storage converted into the form 2 suppose the form 1 has this uh, this type of the shape and form 2 has about uh, this type of the shape so these two forms has different solubilities different absorption property and uh, different in vivo absorbance and different bioavailability so this may happen suppose uh, in a gas form may be converted into the hydrous form or hydrous form may convert into the anhydrous form so such type of the incidence has to be kept in mind during preparation of the suspension formulation the next parameter is the influence of the extreme temperature condition as we know that in india in winter the lowest temperature is about uh, 0 to 5 degree centigrade and in summer the higher temperature is about 45 degree centigrade so during the shelf life the suspension undergoes this extreme temperature changes during the storage condition as we know that as the temperature increases the solubility increases so that the sum of the particles goes into the solution and again when the winter comes this particle precipitates on the surface of the bigger particles and again the changes in the particles and distribution is observed the next mechanism the next reason is effect of the grinding as we know that if you use the high energy particles and reduction process which creates surface energy on the surface of the particles so here what happens the shape of the particles remain same but it has a different surface energy this uh, this results into the changes into the solubility and dissolution rate because of the difference in the surface energy on the particles so these are the various reasons of the crystal growth in a suspension formulation